everybody. How are we doing tonight? Yeah. Okay. Under the dark stained sky, devoid of the smell that comes from a permanent marker, casually garnished with the white afterthoughts of a thousand years before, a thousand more soup-filled eyes delicately close their blinds to the subtle rhythm of the blinking of the twinkling of the eyes that watch over them. The hours that pour like cold honey, but bold and swarm reservoir like silk stand alone, betraying no evidence of the busy bodies of bees working their way to their one common goal. But when the light goes on overhead, the slow music of dreams will stop and will be replaced with the throb of cautionary colors telling us to stop and telling us to go and telling us to live are not regarded by one. Mm -hmm. Revered by the young mind as sleeping beauty speculated at times to be that comatose in movies that are missed and loved by ghosts they That's have good. not met nor cannot remember. Seldom is it ever mentioned as its disease Self-diagnosed and medicated, sober with thoughts and then inebriated, the coattails of sobriety for the time being are just out of reach or tucked away until a far better special occasion. Whether it be of a family that has never existed or the dueling fanfare of a battle she has yet to overcome, and her soggy, crumpled sheets just over her red blood badge of courage, she sleeps tonight, today, and tomorrow of tender love with warm affection. Fireflies sends the sound of an old god misbehaving. And she will pay no heed to the careful palms in the morning that holds her shoulders and tries to rattle her soul the same way like in the night, pulled whatever love was in her mind, held her steady as those hips filled her void with more hate than the subtle kind. And her heart, like wine, was flowing in her dreams. She sleeps to forget the face she saw fit for times allocated for sleeping in when the laser of light entered the room just right and all the earth seemed heavenly as the line between her existence and fancy seemed to blend under one ominous sweaty finger that she thought sought out to make things right of the thing she thought she always had to carry. A woman with sympathy, she held sympathy for a man in the stark sour country of the living death of the mark that told the story that oozed a thousand years before out of all men to ignore and then finally give in to. She could want no more, so she sleeps in her sleep until the banks of her memory, too full to store, relinquish the thought of every man and every time and everything to live this life by what she now. Nice as dreams. <laughs> Thank you.